Well, good morning, everybody, and greetings from Miami Beach. Yeah, Miami Beach, that's right. I came to a different place to, to run today. May 20th, 2019, the original uh, date of the Cuban independence, and uh, I'm sorry, it's very noisy out here. They're, they're cleaning the streets. You know, I came at the exact time, but this is, of course, the heart of the Art Deco district here in South Beach. And, uh, you know, I decided to, to come to a different venue today to do my morning jog. I actually parked about two miles north of here and now I'm gonna jog back. But I wanted to check in with you guys and show you a little bit of this and um, of course that time lapse that I did from 15th Street all the way down here to 10th. I took a picture of the sunrise, maybe I'll also uh, put it in here, otherwise you can see it in Instagram. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jog back to my parking spot. And while I do that, I'm gonna leave you guys with, uh, with some footage that I took of the new GoPro, this camera, on the roof of Minitini, the trailer. And um, that's gonna be, I'm, gonna, I'm calling it uh, the Trailer Cam 2.0. And so far I'm pretty pleased with it. And uh, it has like these this little gauges that you can put on the screen that, that show you like, um, like the speed and, uh, and, and what direction you're going, you know, if you're going east, west, north or south. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, and the quality compared to the old GoPro Hero 3 is like day and night. So I'm uh, very happy about that. Well, as I said, I'm gonna start uh, jogging back here. And uh, maybe I'll take some footage, you know, as, uh, as I head north. Otherwise, until the next time, thank you so much for watching. And, and I'll see you on the road, uh, well, today in Miami Beach, which actually, in order to see the ocean, you have to go over these sand dunes. Actually, let me let me do that before before we go, and that way I can test the camera while I'm running. So it would also be a good test, right? And let me go through here. We just uh, there's a boardwalk. All right, here we are. Like Tony Montana's friend, Manny, used to say, Miami Beach, man. Miami Beach. <laughs> All right, not for reals. See you guys later. Well, this here I shot with one of the time-lapse modes uh, that come uh, with the GoPro Hero 7 Black, the new GoPro, and this is called the uh, Hyperlapse. And, um, and when it has something uh, in the distance to grab onto, the stabilization is superb. Uh, now that I'm going through this more narrow um, boardwalk, it's not so great, but keep in mind, I'm jogging here, so the camera is bouncing up and down and moving a, a little bit. So that's it, it is still a pretty impressive uh, uh, stabilization scheme or algorithm or whatever they use. Well, let's uh, check out the beach real quick here. I almost forgot that I was in Miami Beach and the main purpose, oh, besides running, one of the main purposes was to to see the water and maybe jump into the water if it seems appealing. I don't know, it doesn't look very um, inviting with all these seaweeds here. Yeah, I wonder what happened to Miami Beach because it, it wasn't like this before, it used to be very nice. And the beach is, itself doesn't, doesn't look very appealing, I don't know why. If you go into the water, I mean, it's still, still the same beautiful Miami Beach, right? Overpopulated bunch of condos and hotels. Yes, sometimes I press the wrong button on the on the GoPro here. I'm still not used to it entirely. Well, I'm gonna continue jogging back to the car. It's I'm a little over a mile. I mean, about a mile, three quarters of a mile away. And I'm still gonna play that mini tiny trailer cam video. I'll do it just at the end of the video. Actually, I've decided I'm going to run here on the 
on the sand for a little bit. I see a, a bunch of people doing it, so must be a thing. Wally. I forgot to bring the car mount, so there won't be any video of me returning back to the mainland, to Miami. But this was a good four mile run here. I think my parking lot is coming up. So, um, as always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road as I just linger here in Miami for a couple more weeks. It's cool because from uh, this board where you can see the back of the hotels and the swimming pools and all that. Pretty cool. As you can see, now that I'm just walking, the stabilization works a little better. Uh, and actually, my only disappointment with this uh, new GoPro Hero 7 is the the audio quality, the microphone quality. It's, it's pretty bad. Or maybe I'm spoiled by, by the Sony X3000. Anyways, without further preamble, welcome to the Trailer Cam 2.0. So this is going to be the new trailer cam, the new view from the roof of the trailer. As you can see, it's a little wider angle. You can see a little more of the truck and the quality, uh, the color rendition and the, and the sharpness. When you compare it with, with raw video from the old GoPro Hero 3, it's day and night. And with this one, I may not even have to do color correction. All the Hero 3 footage, I always color corrected because it's uh, it was always kind of washed out. It has this uh, kind of gimmicky gauge that I can put on the screen. There's a bunch of overlays that I can put on the screen, and this one tells the speed and the and the direction that I'm going. And sometimes it does get stuck, but it works well most of the time. I don't know how often I'm going to use it, but I think it's a it's a, it's a good idea to have it sometimes to to show you my speed or or. It, whether I'm going north, south, east, or west. Uh, I, I wish it, it had more variety and other, th and uh, that I could put other things like maybe temperature or or things like that, you know, GPS coordinates, uh, like, like the Garmin uh, 360 camera does. And, oh, Garmin, that may be a trailer cam 3.0, but that's going to be probably next year. Anyways, here's the video at four times normal speed, kind of un uncut, so you get an idea of, of what it's going to look like uh, in, the, in the upcoming uh, road trip to the west or uh, northwest, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but it's going to be a long one. As always, once again, thank you for watching and see you on the road.